Okay, so we've, we've worked a bit with uh, creating your own patterns and I guess mixing the patterns up. So we've figured out that we can, we can mix in between different styles um, and different fills and, and even down to things like you know, different intros and, and outros. Um, but everyone likes to play live and everyone likes to jam together. So in addition to offering you that kind of flexibility, we've also got the ability to, to turn on jam mode. So everyone likes a bit of a jam, so up here you can see we've got this jam mode. So we turn it on, we've got a flashing play button. Once again, we've got the intro, we've got our endings, and if we go through our banks, you can see we've got eight main pads and eight fill pads. Um, but this time you can see that there's actually arrows and play, uh, well, I guess transport signals in the actual pads itself. So if I come through and select the main pad, you can see it'll start playing. But if I want to start my track with an intro, I'm going to click on this. And it plays through, and it goes automatically to this main one. So this is the pad I selected before. So let's say you're, you're jamming along with your mate, you're playing along, you want a bit of a fill, so we click on the fill, and now it's going over to the fill section, and then straight back over to the main track that we were playing before. So let's move along the progression. We're there, we, maybe we want to make this a bit more complex, so there we go. Another fill, and then it'll go straight back to the main section that we had before. And then if we want to end it, we can click on an ending, and it drops out. Okay, so you can see it's really easy to rearrange um, the segments of our song and play live. So it's not just about, I guess, playing at home. You could, you could take this on the road and, and use it with live triggers, like with a keyboard, with drum pads, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, lots of flexibility for actually playing and jamming with your mates. Okay, so Groove Agent 4 is an amazing songwriting tool. Um, we can get patterns, we can work with patterns, we can work with sound to give us a, a, a nice foundation for the actual track we're working with. Um, but it goes a step further in terms of the integration with Cubase itself. So one of the, I guess, one of the easiest ways, and probably for me one of the, the most natural ways of actually using uh, Groove Agent 4 inside of Cubase is the practical approach. So I've got a keyboard set up here beside me, so all I'm going to do is just simply hit the record button and then just start playing. And we can quantize it, so it doesn't matter if it's exactly in time. But just notice, I'm just going to let this groove play out just a little bit. If I want, I can change in between fills and then go back. Okay, so I've kept that quite simple. Um, if I quantize it just by hitting the Q button, everything will move in time. But let's just imagine for a moment that this is a build-up. So this first pattern here is building up to a bridge. So we want, we want more of a natural drum approach. So we want the drummer just to elaborate just a little bit more as we get closer to it. So what I'm going to do now is come over here to the complexity slider and I'm going to say assign to new automation and just once more show main automation. Yep. So let's move that out of the road. So now you can see I've got this new automation track here. If I drag this up, now if we grab our, our pen, we can basically draw in a complex, a more complex approach. So now if I click on uh, read and hit play. that complexity slider there is actually getting further towards the more complex side. So it's actually building up in the approach to the fill. Okay, so that's one way of actually being able to use um, Groove Agent inside of Cubase. The other way is more the drag and drop style. So of course everything inside of Cubase is always drag and drop. Um, so I'm going to come back to my MIDI track here and I'm just going to go over here and select Main and now I'm going to pick up simply on the block and just drag it straight in. Um, if I want, I can drag a fill in, and now I can start editing lengths, and I can start building my song uh, from the intro straight through to the outro. So we can drag and drop these patterns across, but it's very easy to actually now get in and edit the patterns that we've dragged over into the project window. So we might want just a little bit of variation. So one way of doing it would be to double click, but instead of doing that, this is a really neat um, function. We're going to cl click on Ringo Sons, and then go up to MIDI, open drum editor and you can see there now we've got a perfect drum editor. So now we can actually go through, grab our drumstick and start drawing in fills if we want or moving the notes around. Okay so a really nice way of being able to actually edit drums. When we're finished if we really want we can drag and drop straight back over to Groove Agent. So the drag and drop works both ways. So Groove Agent 4 is a fantastic songwriting tool. Um, we're touching on different genres, different ways of actually using it um, in some of the other tutorials so please uh, check uh, the links on the website. Thanks for stopping by the studio in Hamburg. I'm Andy and we'll see you soon.
Take care.